Hey everyone, it's your local Beyonce Mila Jam. I am a trans pop recording artist, activist, musician, amazing person, and my pronouns are she, her, hers. I would say that my style is if pop music got married to a rock and roll legend in a vintage concert hall. That's what my style would be. It'd be a little bit of glam, it'd be a little bit of rock and roll, it'd be a little bit of business, and it'd be a little bit of sex kitten and fun. The origin story of my current authentic style kind of comes from me deciding to do green hair. My hairstylist, D. Dranny Bear, kind of got me into this color and I didn't think it would work, but I fell in love with it and I've been rocking it as much as I can. And so I like to do things based off of um, this sort of template. So things that kind of go against this color, that pop from this color. I like to take it to extremes. I like to add like a bold, monochromatic look. Um, I love reds, I love oranges. I love statement pieces, I love yellows, and they kind of contrast really well with the green hair. Um, also, the evolution of my style is basically going from like, you know, casual wear and everyday like sportsy type wear to really glamorous like vintage pieces, um, almost stuff that you would wear like on a red carpet or that you would wear on stage. I've like incorporated them into my everyday wardrobe. We're gonna go through my closet today. This is the start of my looks because there will be many looks as always. But I love this piece specifically, one of my favorites because uh, it was given to me by the designer Kess here in New York City and it is 100% silk. She's very she-she and very bougie. How about my favorite tights? Yeah? Okay, let's try this one. These are my favorite tights. Um, they were made for me by a very well-known designer artist named Matthew Camp. They were for a music video and I never wore them in the music video, but they're lightning and they're green and they match my hair and they're one of a kind. And look, you don't get this kind of detail from any other designer. So this is why I love them. I'm ready for the interview. I'm ready for the business meeting. I'm ready to go and stop traffic. All right. How about a little bit of lace? This is actually the like most vintage piece that is in my wardrobe. It was my grandmother's. It's my grandmother's lace um, top. It was like her Christmas top that she would wear for Christmas parties. And it's so like, it gives me like, you know, Prince, Madonna. Um, it's so vintage. I very rarely wear it because I don't want it to get messed up. I actually made this. This is a skirt that I uh, made out of a jersey. It is one of the first pieces that I ever wore um, performing, and I stitched all of this. I did a little zigzag stitch here. This is an homage to Beyonce, um, crazy in love. Back in the days where everyone wore jerseys as shirts and skirts and dresses. Black Trans Lives Matter. Now, this is some of my favorite stuff from one of my favorite companies, The Fluid Project, that supports LGBT youth, people that are LGBTIA+. It's a genderless store that makes awesome t-shirts and gear. This is probably my favorite one. Here are some of the other ones that I really love. This rainbow print Fluid Project t-shirt. I love the tie-dye effect. It's like when you're feeling your pride fantasy. My personal exciting favorite of these t-shirts is Marsha P. Johnson. This one is like a screen print of Marsha P. Johnson, Power to the People. It's our right. I love fluid, 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 every day, all day. Fluid Project t-shirts galore. Very cute, very good, very now, very in, very jam. It being a genderless, experience 
gives people permission to just go with the flow of whatever they're into, whatever you're like, like your eye is drawn to, whatever color aesthetics you like. And then like a lot of the staple pieces are just for everyone, you know, t-shirts are for everyone. Um, I love their variety of color choices, of designer choices, unique designers that you might not find in other places. Um, and I love how expressive it is and it just makes you feel like you're a part of a community. So the advice I would give for others about their personal style would be, you have to find the colors that you think work best for you, that inspire you and give you life, but also look good on your skin tone. Um, but I'd also say find stuff that makes you feel important and feel polished and professional at the same time. So if you're like, oh, I could never wear that, maybe at some point in your life you could wear that there were things that i thought i would never be able to wear when i was younger especially before my transition that did not fit my body the way that i wanted them to and now they fit and they work for me and my aesthetic and i love to celebrate that that's why i like to wear things that are form-fitting that are kind of like sometimes scantily clad and just fun and make me feel good about my body. Thank you for coming to my closet and checking out my stuff. Please follow me on all of my accounts at The Mila Jam. Yes, I'm the only one. And please stream my music on Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, all over the place. You can look up for all my songs and we can jam out together. And I hope you have your fashion dreams come true. Be creative in your closets and be amazing. Peace, love jam.